Psalms chapter 23, verse 1 up to verse 4. The Bible says in verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack. Now, uh, this is a psalm of David, and he is saying, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack. You know, the work of shepherd is to feed the sheep. It's also to guide the sheep and also to protect the sheep from the enemies. And um, I believe that when David was <clears throat> comparing God to shepherd, it is good to remember that David was a shepherd and therefore... He really knew and understood the work of a shepherd to, to feed, to guide, and to shield. And therefore, this morning, I'm talking to somebody, and I want to remind you that God is our provider. You know, many are the times that uh, we do not have what we need, but now God God wants us to put our trust in him that he is going to provide. Just like a good shepherd who guides his sheep, who protects his sheep and also feed them, that is the same thing that God does to those people who trust him. So what am I saying here? Many are the times that we do not even have what we need. Maybe you are there, you don't have food to feed yourself and also to feed your children. I am here to tell you that trust in God because he is your shepherd. And the work of shepherd is to feed, to guide and to protect. And that is why you are not going to lack. That is why even if people are saying that the economy is bad worldwide, you are still there studying. You are still there. You are able to feed your children because God has been a good shepherd in your life. First, two, the Bible says that he, make me, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still and restful water. So, uh, the Bible here continues to show how God is good because in green pasture, the sheep are able to feed uh, to feed and get even good nutrients so basically the bible is saying that god take care of our needs and he leads us into good direction where we can be able to get the things that we need and this is my prayer this morning that because you are going to put god as your shepherd trust me that he is going to make you lie down in green pasture so this means that he makes he overflows your blessing he makes he leads you to the right direction and that, and therefore it is important <clears throat> it is important to have god in you it is important to trust god in all circumstances why because he is the one that will make you lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the still and restful water. So basically, God is the one that gives you direction of life. You know, the Bible says that he orders our steps. So God is the one that ordains and orders our steps. And therefore, when you allow yourself, when you allow yourself, to be guided by God, to be shown the way, to be shown the direction, then you are going to go in green pastures. But when you lead yourself, you may find yourself, uh, you are in a place where there is no abundance of what you need. Because the need of any sheep is green pastures. The need of any sheep, if for example you have a, uh, you have a herd of cattle, Rive stocks and all that. They just need green pasture and still waters. 
and therefore when we trust in God we are going to get this what we need and we are going to be in a good place and as this the Bible says he refreshes and restores my life he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake now when you trust in God when you put God as your shepherd he is the one that is going to refresh and to restore your life he is the one that is going to lead you in the paths of righteousness you cannot be able to live a righteous life on your own you cannot be able to be upright and right studying with God if you are not going to uh, allow him to lead your life you know the work of shepherd is to lead the sheep and therefore the Bible here is trying to remind us that we need God in each and every step of our way in our paths of righteousness you know why many people are struggling in sin is because they have not surrendered their lives unto the Lord because if you surrender your life unto the Lord he is the one that is going to lead you and therefore my prayer this morning is that you may allow God to lead you yeah though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for you are with me for you are with me I will fear no evil that's what the Bible is saying I will fear no evil for you are with me you are rod and your stuff your stuff they comfort me so even if you may pass through a very difficult thing you are not going to fear because God is with you I pray that this Sunday morning you may allow God to be your shepherd and when you are uh, when you allow God to be your shepherd he will take care of your needs he will take care of your anxiety he will guide you he will provide you he will provide for you he will protect you that's why the Bible says that you are rod that is for protection and your staff for guidance so God is going to protect you God is going to give you direction if you make him to be your shepherd i know i'm talking to somebody i don't know where you are but i want to remind you that god is with you be blessed have a good Saturday.